Lord. Yeah. Para dito sa uh, sa ganitong klase ng lineup ng Blacklist. Yeah. Or, uh, I think yung ba- Barats. Oh, Siyempre, obvious. obvious. And okay. Angeling combo para sa Evo's Legends. Tingin ko Granger, posible. Of course, yeah. Granger. For Blacklist International, meron silang way for them to kite. At uh, tingin ko yun lang taga magiging standard draft ng uh, Blacklist International. Protect uh, the wise at kung sakaling mahirapan din or nag-apply ng pressure ang uh, Evo's Legends. Since dalawang kanilang support, pwede silang mag-delegate ng isa pang support doon kay Oheb. Oh wow, match point, touch and goal para dito sa Blacklist International and shout out sa ating mga agents dyan. I'm pretty sure na sobrang excited na silang mag-cheer, mag-post sa mga kanilang mga kanika nilang mga sock men to congratulate. I'm, sinasabi ko to lang mas maaga pero ako, no bias aside, oh. I really like the draft of Blacklist International on Game 3. We can see the future. Baga parang si Doctor Strange nga, di ba? Baga parang with the, uh, the, with the probability. At yeah, I completely agree, Rob. Talagang maganda ang uh, draft ng uh, Blacklist International. Pwede ko natin kung ano nga ba magiging execution dito ng Evil's Legends. As we head straight to the Land of Dawn, match point na ang Blacklist International in this best of five. Tignan natin kung makakahabol nga ba ang Evil's Legends sa kanilang draft. Oh, definitely, kailangan galingan ng Evil's Legends. No bias or anything, pero yung lineup talaga ng uh, Blackness International ay napakaganda sa moment. Sabihin na natin ang uh, may problema na lang ng Blackness International, probably is the focus. Mm-hmm. Um, for sure, ang um, yung dashes ay ma- magiging problema ng Blackness International. At wala sila, kasi ang, uh, ang wal- wala sila is yung parang pang patay doon sa focus. Unless of course, mabaog nila dito si Ate Mitch at ako mo na madami silang items. But till then, yun yung pinaka problema nila. Mm-hmm. Pero kasi at this point eh, you would also think na pwede rin naman hindi na lang nila pansinin muna dito yung Povius and let, let alone uh, a simple, uh, a, a single Povius kaya that uh, sabihin na natin hindi na kayang bumuhat on its own compared to the likes of like a Benedetta yes. na kayang umikot all around the map. Pero we also have to agree na yung early game dito ng Evo's Legends is something that we have to watch out for. And Eson is doing a great job dito na bantayan muli si Oheb sa may bottom lane. Yep, lalo kapag nakakuha agad ng level 4 dito si Persic plus si LJ, mas magiging confident na pumasok agad si Persic sa backside ng Blacklist International. So ang ginagawa ng Blacklist International ngayon, sige, apply na tayo ng damage, apply tayo ng pressure, protektahan natin si Wise na makakuha agad ng level 4 and then go time ka agad. In fact, ang kanilang paprotektahan talaga si Oheb. For the past few games! Oh, fate, ah, mukhang, with the ultimate, agad sinayawan dito ni Persic at mukhang ang nakauna agad the first blood ng Evo's Legends go trying to go for Eson wow. but the death zone nata wow. with the body block from LJ as well pero kailangan nila i-punish dito si LJ pero si Rex hindi na rin trying to assist the rest of Evo's but Eson mukhang ang sakit pa rin ng damage with the soul bloom oh my Venus is supportahan na but the damage is not enough. Evo's Legends will disengage. Yes, that was a prolonged team fight. Pero napaka unfortunate don kay Oheb kasi sumakto yung chrono dash niya sa pagtalon mismo ng link. That's the reason bakit hindi na rin siya makatakas at kailangan niya na din dumaban. Though, ang ganda ng pagkakadepensa doon ng Blacklist International at hindi pa rin enough yung mga damage ni Persic to get or to be on a prolonged team fight. Ngayon, Blacklist, Oy. he would want to get this turtle. Anti-mage, again with the demonic force. Magkukuldown ka agad yan. At mukhang saktong-sakto. Nire-reset niya just, just at the nick of time para ma-push back yung Blacklist International and also go for the reset. Persic available lang kanyang retribution. Oh, my views with the Domain of the Moon God. Trying to zone out that area. Pero ang magiging contest pa rin dito yung Turtle. Nice positioning para sa Blacklist International. Pinuposition nila sa my left side, top side rather ng cave. At mukhang si Wise ang makakuha ng kill na naman dito sa side ng Blacklist International. LJ trying to run away but Blacklist International will disengage. Uh, Pagdiba pag the Blacklist International allowed them to take that uh, Turtle. So far sa tatlong games na nakikita natin sa Blacklist versus Evo's Legends, lagi ng una Turtle ng Blacklist International. Kahit palugi sila sa gold. Ang prayo kasi talaga ng Blacklist International ay objectives. Ang nangyari naman na uh, bilang resulta, nagkaroon ng 1v1 itong si Clover at si Oheb dun sa, pag, dun sa nangyaring clash dun sa Turtle. Habang nangyari yun, lumamang bigla si Oheb. At si Edward mukhang may ipit dito. First sick at makakatakas pa siya. In I for an I ni Edward. Yung damage but first sick still ang makakuha ng kill with the assist from Anti-Mage. Min, mukhang na sandwich play. 
Wala na rin, wala na rin talagang takas doon. It could have been an outplay coming from Edward, pero it looks like Blacklist International, they're still on the bridge. Sabi, sabi natin kanina, Evo's Legends, sila yung magsiset ng tempo dito. Yes, ang kita mm. natin yun. Sobrang nuisance na nga dito ni Anti-Mage with this pole views. Pero still, Blacklist International, kayang-kaya nilang sumabay dito sa early game. Apat na members nila ngayon na nandito sa may bottom lane. How will this proceed? Si Rex siya uunahin. Ang sakit ng damage doon ni Wise. Gamit ang kanyang death zone at tatama ba? Not enough damage. Critical strike from uh, from Blacklist International. Pero nakikita naman natin itong movements ng Blacklist International. No? Kapag pupunta sila sa may bottom lane, laging sandwich play ang call ng Blacklist International. But ngayon, unti-unti na lumalamang at umahabol ang, e ang Blacklist International. When it comes to net worth naman, 11.4 up to 10.9. Agree, agree. Oh, timing. Oh, oh. Nakita natin dito, purple buff. Rexy, once si anti-mage again, ginugulo yung position ng Blacklist International using the demonic force. Daman force naman, ang sagot dito ni Oheb. Anti-mage will flicker out. Persik ang magiging main target. He forced to use his ultimate. Persik Lover na yata magiging target dito. Order of Brilliance. Para lang ma-escape yung ganitong aggression ng Blacklist International. I'm not pretty sure kung sino yung nakakuha doon ng purple Wise. buff. It was probably wise since siya yung may, uh, may uh, uh, buff ngayon dito. Pero it's gonna be a prolonged divide once again para sa Blacklist International. Pero pupuruhan nila dito si Rexy. That's when Adam will be used! Ooh. At mukhang may may iwan pang HP dito si, uh, si Rexy. But again, moving forward, tinamaan siya ng passive <laughs> dito ni Oh My Venus. Grabe yung damage and Edward, dinazonat niya lang din si Clover para magkaroon ng time dito ang Blacklist International to secure oh! the turtle and Mercy! double kill! Para kay Oh My Venus! Oh My Venus! At mukhang tatahihin na naman nila. Rhapsody, Forced Order, Brilliance dito para kay Clover. But with the domain, hindi rin oh! enough yung damage. Kaunti ka pala hibo na lang yung HP. Kaunti oh! na lang. Pangit ka ba ni Clover? Hindi pa binigay yung triple kill para kay Oh My Venus. Pero still, kung papansin niyo rito, Evo's Legends, they're being too reactive ngayon sa mga ginagawa ng Blacklist International. They would want to take those team fights dun sa mga turtle. Pero lagi silang out of position. Even for sick, it's not getting the kills that he needs or rather the position dun sa backline dito ng Blacklist. Okay, ang timing ng Blacklist International palagi, yung pag-take nila ng purple buff, sakto si for six super low. Kaya hindi siya nakaporma dun sa... Pagretri. At tapos nung nagkaroon ng turtle fight, low na naman siya. Napatay pa kasi ni Venus gamit yung second skill. Ohoy, mukha ito na. Oh, again, guiding wind. Rexy trying to get out. Anti-mage naman. Ginamit kanya demonic force. Pero si Oh My Venus, again, sinusustain niya lang ang dress of Blacklist International. Now they're moving forward to order of brilliance para makakuha ng damage to Venus. The Moon Girl will be used as well. Pero wala pa rin nagkakapatayan dito. Anti-mage able to run away, causing damage sa side ng Blacklist oh. International. Pero nahuli siya ni Oheb. That sustain coming from Blacklist International. Sinubukan na ng Evo's Legends. Cooldown halos lahat ng kanilang mga ultimate. Even Oheb was looking dun sa kanyang uh, Zaman Force. Mm. Hindi yon available. Pero Blacklist, they have a perfect disengage kit na kaya nilang patagalin yung laban habang nagbabak sila to the point na walang napipita sa kanila ni LJ. Isa. Look at that. Angela will just simply die ng ganun-ganun na lang. Evo's Legends. What's happening? Dumediretso. At ito ang nangyayari. Electo final blow. Plus the order of freelance. 1v1. Clover against Edward. Pero mukhang habol pa dito si Edward. Again with the phantom slashes. Pero nung nakita niya si Persik, medyo parang ramdaman ko mayroong isa pang hero na kumukuha ng orange. Magdi-disengage kaagad sila. Pero when it comes to positioning ng Blacklist International, talagang mid lane ang pinupuruhan sa side ng Evo's Legends. Nagtitignan mo lang yung mga members ng Evo's Legends. Lagi silang low. Kasi pinupoke sila lagi ng Blacklist International. While looking at Blacklist, since meron silang Estes, eh, wala silang problema. Ra Estes Rafaela, which means na uptime is real sa Blacklist International. Gusto ko rin itong itahin dun sa fact na yung Evo's Legends, meron silang timing na around the 8-minute mark kung saan may 2 items na si First Sick, 2 items na si Clover. Hindi pinapaabot ang Blacklist International doon dahil sila naman, pinipilit nilang mag-group up agad para yung Evo's Legends mailang sa pag-farm. In, uh, as a result, yung mapa naging nasa Blacklist International na! Oh, holy retribution! Pati-take down pa nila si Rexy, no! Flicker out para kay Rexy. Pero nakikita natin yung 
gu gu yung gulat. Yes. Yung Blacklist International sa every missing member sa Evos Legends. Zaman Force will be used. LJ getting a lot of shots from the Chrono Dashes. But Wise will take down Rexy. anti mage naman. Pukang maabante Clover with the older Brilliance. Pero Oh My Walang Venus with a sustain. Ang, walang damage. Kagad na nahihilis. Nahihil kagad to ni Oh My Venus. First thing moving forward with the ultimate here. Trying to go for the kill. But Flicker out para kay Eson. At yun yung unti-unti nila. Nagihita sila ng cooldown with a sustain. Dahil yung penalization in the end. Para matake down si Clover. Pero apat pa rin ng members ng Blacklist International ng buhay. At with the eye. Edward. Eye for an eye. Hinahawin pa rin si LJ. But with the guiding wind. Plus. Oh, the Ooh. ultimate. Habang si Clover naman. Mukhang napanish niya si Oeb. Very good collapse coming out from Evo's Legends. Ang ginawa nila, pinaforce silang gumamit ng ultimate doon si Oh My Venus. Gamit yung uh, combo ni Clover, yung uh, Ruby DD play nga na sinasabi natin. At dahil doon ay napa-ulti si uh, Oh My Venus. Tapos, tsaka na pumasok doon si Persik. Yung ginagawa ng Evo's Legends dahil kulang sila sa damage is binibait muna nila yung Blacklist na gamitin yung sustain. Tapos, tsaka sila lalaban. But, sa lahat ng mga efforts nilang ginawa yun, dalawang kill lang yung nakuha nila. Dalawang kill ang nakuha, pero nakikita naman natin dito ang EVOS Legends. Sinusubukan din nila yung, uh, yung sandwich play na ginagawa ng Blacklist International, pero enough na rin yung ganong klaseng movements para makasecure sila ng Tier 1 turret sa mid lane. Pero kita mo ang gano'ng ka-confident si Edward dito. However, top lane, wise, mukhang siya yung pinafocus ni Anti-Mage. Hindi tumama yung Holy Retribution, pero sobrang kulat pa rin talaga ni Anti-Mage dito with the additional shield. Pero si Edward naman still trying to force something out para kay Clover with the half HP as the Lord will respond. Wala na namang brilliance dun si Clover, so mapapasama yata ang Evo's Legends sa ngayon. At ang kailangan nilang gawin ay mag-clear na lang ng waves. Pero yung Black City International hindi babayag. Hindi tulak ng tulak! Tulak ng tulak. Parang na-take down nila ang tier 2 turret. Pero si Anti-Mage wala na rin siya magagawa. Available pa rin. Hindi pala available ang kanyang uh, flicker. So he will decide to not engage at all. Pero nakikita natin yung Blacklist International. Unti-unti nila na nakukuha ang teritoryo ng Evo's Legends. At uh, most probably within the next few minutes. Ito na nga, makukuha naman yung tier 2 turret. Clover forced to use his order of brilliance. Anti-Mage na stun ng Holy Retribution. At mukhang makaka-back out kaagad ng Blacklist International from that. Papansin mo rito, whenever na tumatalon yung Povius, nakaredy yung ultimate yes. sa kanya ni Eson. Mm -hmm. Para na lang talaga sa kanya yung Holy Baptism. And Evo's Legends, mamapansin mo rito si Persik, medyo nag-iiba na sila ng gameplay. Na nagsa-sideline pushes na siya dito para mag-force ng reaction dito for Blacklist International. Pero kalahati ang buhay ngayon ng Lord. Wow, kalahati. Ganun lang. Huwag kang kukurap as the Lord will be taken out by Edward. At ito na naman, iikot na naman ng Blacklist International trying to go for another objective as Evo's Legends playing patiently. Parang, ano yun, no? Parang, talagang hinihintay nila yung gumalaw yung Blacklist International. Laki lang silang prepare. Pero kapag nauna ang Blacklist International, buong sila yata ang makakahuli. Order of Brilliance, Versic, naghihintay lang. With the stun, hindi tumamang Holy Retribution. Pero tingin ko kung makamabuhay pa rin yata yung Blacklist International dito. Oh, nakuha nila si Oh My Venus. Wala na silang Estes. It's time to go back Edward. to get out. Edward, pumunta sa may backline dito. Sinusubukan niya mahuli yung tatlo. But walang... Kaya ang respect pa rin, discipline sa damage output ng Evo's Legends. Nandito pa rin naman ang Lord sa side ng Blacklist International. Regardless na na-pick up doon si Oh My Venus at tuloy pa rin ang pag-push dito ng Blacklist International mga kaibigan. Though, pinanggaan na to ng Evo's Legends para hindi na rin umabot sa sarili nilang face. Pero right at this point, Blacklist International, they still, they still have the tempo. Pasag itong inner turret sa gitna at walang magagawa ang EVOS Legends. Action Jackson of Blacklist International. Kasi nga naman, ubi time na. Kung mapansin nyo, Robert EDC, hindi pa tayo tumitigil sa pagkas! Dire-diretso lang! Dire-diretso lang! Yung timing ng eye for an eye, sinakto niya doon sa collision ng circling eagle. What a play from Edward! Oh, na-flicker din si Oh My Venus. Pero his first thing, oh, oh. yung medyo sa likod. Anti-Mage trying to catch out the missing members of Blacklist International. Pero mukhang may isla na naman siya. Wala nang takas. It's so over! Plus the oh. rondo and Ubos. the damage. Ubos! Ubos Legends, Legends once again at Blacklist International kumakatok na agad sila sa pinto gusto nang tapusin gigil na gigil na para sa 3-0 sweep pero si Rexy nagaantay pa rin sinusubukan niyang i-defend yung base pero wait it's the over. Damage from over oh him. it is over wow still undefeated dito sa ating tournament Blacklist International dominating MSC 2021 shooting themselves papunta sa ating grand final sa pinakaunang team. Again, Team Pilipinas, tuwang-tuwa na naman ang ating mga kababayan dyan sa Pilipinas.
isang representative Buti ng lang. Pilipinas. Walang Pusunta. halaman. Buti na lang walang halaban. Man. Nagbato na naman si Kuya Wise ng, ng unan. Okay, electric pan na lang daw isisirain. <laughs> electric pan na lang. <laughs> gusto, gusto lang namin uh, 